Hi and welcome to my channel. This is gonna be a video about some of my straightforward K-pop opinions. These are just things that need to be said and I didn't want to hold back. Some of them are quite controversial, some of them not that much. But anyways I hope you won't murder me. Now let's begin. I've heard a lot of people saying that being able to sing high notes doesn't make you a better vocalist and I totally agree with that. But you have to consider the fact that high notes play a huge part in K-pop songs. Almost every song has a high note or very high-pitched parts. Therefore it is fundamental having someone in a group who can sing those high notes. Even if that someone is not the member with the best vocal technique. Let's be honest now. If a company has to choose who gets the main vocal position they will most likely give the title to the member who is the second best singer and sings high notes very well rather than the member with the best technique that struggles to hit them. And this is because K-pop songs rely on high notes very much. Stop complaining about moving dance practices. Not everyone watches dance practices to learn the choreo. A lot of people watch it just for the performance aspect and because it looks cool and they want to see their faves up close when they dance. Sometimes you just want to have fun and watch your group's dance practices and there it is. A bunch of annoying stands complaining about the fact the camera isn't fixed and so they can't learn the choreo. I think K-pop stands have the ability to complain about the most random things and people complaining about moving dance practices is a perfect example. People downplay Chewie's talents this much just because she's pretty. She is not the best at anything in twice. She isn't the best singer. She isn't the best vocalist and she isn't the best performer but she's still pretty good at all of those things nonetheless. Yet people consider her talentless just because she also happens to be the visual and in people's minds this means Chewie is a case of pretty privilege. For example, I think Dayeon's skills are even below Chewie's skills but I've never seen anyone calling Dayeon the useless, untalented, filler member. People attack Chewie more because she's pretty and they would actually praise her so much more if she wasn't the visual. Chewie is my bias so this pisses me off on a very high level but I think we can all agree that this is the said truth and people still cannot seem to see past her visuals. Who cares if a group has a weak rap line, dance line or vocal line if that is not the main focus of the group? Like I know Twice can't rap but who cares? That's not what they focus on as a group. Just like BTS's focus is clearly not the vocals and it's never been so stop acting surprised when seeing their dance and rap line being much more stronger than the vocal line. There are some groups who are equally strong in every asset but not everyone has to be like that. The only problem is when a group is too focused on an aspect they're not strong at. Kinda like a group with awful rappers having 90% of their songs being rap verses. Then that makes me wonder what the hell the company is even thinking. But that's for another day. There's a reason your faves sound bad during encore stages and the reason is that they're not strong vocalists. Simple as that. Like I just said it's okay. Not every group has the strongest vocalists. Some members cannot hold a note but they might be very good at dancing, rapping or have a great stage presence. Not everybody is to be Mariah Carey and I just wished K-pop stands admitted to themselves that their faves aren't strong singers instead of making up excuses. Urina stands are on a whole other level of annoying. Blaming Bahi because Urina didn't make it into Kepler is so fucking stupid because you do realize that even if Bahi didn't debut Urina still wouldn't have been in the lineup because my girl Suyan was the one who ranked 10th. So Suyan would have been the one to debut in Bahi's place if anything, not your girl Urina. And this is a problem with Urina stance because I am a big Suyan stan and I also alt cherry bullet but you don't see me or other stands dragging poor Bahi like Urina stands do. Also can we stop acting as if Urina was so much stronger than Bahi in terms of dance and vocals? Like yes, she had a better stage presence but Urina stands are making it sounds as if she was Beyonce in comparison to Bahi which is honestly making me laugh. I have nothing against Urina but let me tell you she wasn't as show stopping as you make her out to be. Technically the center has to be that member that you cannot look away from, the member that is usually in the center during the performances. So it's usually someone with a really captivating aura and presence and Yang is the perfect example. Rawoon is the center and he is a very good center but you cannot tell me Yang isn't by far the best performer and most captivating member on stage. Rawoon is literally my bias and I love him so much don't get me wrong. But I think FNC was doing something right when they basically made Yang the center for SF9's debut. Rowoon has always been the official center but I'm glad FNC decided to put the spotlight on Yang again during trauma era. I think he should have just been the center for all of their promotions because he's literally an insane performer. Everglow are 4th gen's ballad queens. Let's say Everglow is mostly known for their hard-hitting, dance anthem type of music and I believe they never miss when it comes to title tracks, but their b-sides always end up being my favorites. I feel like a lot of groups just put a slow filler song in their albums and call it a day. But when it comes to Everglow's ballads the quality is high. Ever since debut they've always had impeccable ballads and so far I have yet to hear a 4th gen group that has consistently had such good ballad songs. If so far you have only judged Everglow from their title tracks I highly recommend listening to their b-sides because they legit have one of the strongest 4th gen discographies and I'm not even kidding. Kepler are definitely going to be a successful group. Stop lying to yourself by saying they will flop. You sound ridiculous. Remember how you all used to say Girls Planet was gonna flop but guess what? So many people still watched it and everybody is gonna tune in for Kepler's debut and their future comebacks. Everything that has to do with them net eventually becomes popular. Kepler are gonna be everywhere for the next two and a half years and trust me, they will become one of the biggest groups of 4th gen whether you like it or not. At this point the only people that are convinced Kepler will flop are those whose faves were eliminated in Girls Planet or Salty Eyes 1 stands that cannot accept the fact Eyes 1 is disbanded and it's not coming back. Sorry but it must be said. 
And mind you my faves were also eliminated in Girls Planet and I Stand Eyes 1 as well but you all are either delusional or you don't wanna admit to yourself that Kepler are gonna be the next big thing. Okay guys this is everything I have for today. Please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Also don't forget to stream 11 by Ive. Bye.